Hi, welcome to this lab. In this lab, I'm going to show you how to use metrics, diagnostic logs, and query performance insight in order to monitor your SQL database that exists in Azure. First monitoring starts with these two parameters, basically these two metrics. First one is DTU percentage utilization. You need to monitor this. If the utilization reaches 90%, then you might decide to scale up. And if the utilization is consistently down, then you might scale down and save some costs. Similarly, with the data storage also. But apart from this, if you want to view other metrics, then you can come down here, click on metrics, and then you can view different types of metrics. As you can see here, CPU percentage, IO percentage, DTU limit, DTU is used, and so on. There are a lot of metrics that you can use. And also, if you want to define a timeline, you can define the time range and also show time as either UTC, GMT, are your local time okay so you can keep on adding the charts and pin those charts to your dashboard and start monitoring but everything i have shown here is completely basic at a basic level itself you can design your own dashboard with um, databases in it but if you want to do complex dashboards and monitoring then go for azure sql analytics okay and the next thing is diagnostic settings Basically, you need to turn on the diagnostic settings in order to collect the data. Give it a name. Rudra Diagnostics. And there are three areas to which you can feed the data into. One is storage account. You can archive to a storage account and specify the storage account details. Or you can stream the logs into an event hub or send it to log analytics. So you have three options but most of the time 90 percent of the time people will archive to a storage account and also to a log analytics because most of the time your client or company will have lots of databases they generally tend to use log analytics and if you come down here once you selected a storage account then you can select retention days how many days you want to retain in that storage account that particular logs so there are lots of logs available. You can see SQL insights, automatic tuning, query store runtime, query store weight, database weight. So there are a lot of logs that you can dig into to troubleshoot an issue or to monitor, okay? And also you can feed the metrics into storage account. So I'm not going to enable it, but uh, you can try on your own. Basically provide storage account details and specify the retention days for all these logs and metrics and then save, okay? So let's close this. And the next thing is performance overview. Here you can view the performance, basically the overall performance of your database. And if there are any recommendations for you, it will be displayed here. However, I would like to show you Query Performance Insight, which is really interesting tool from my point of view. Here you can see top five queries by CPU, by data IO and log IO. So if you can come down here, this is the overall DTU from the queries perspective. But if you come down here, you can see overall consumption, basically overall CPU consumption, data IO consumption, log IO consumption. But here what is shown is the consumption by that query. So it selected top five queries here. And if you come down here, you can view the individual queries, how much time it is executed, how much CPU it is utilizing. Now currently my queries are not utilizing anything, but they are getting executed more number of times. And the best thing about Query Performance Insight is if you select one of them, then you can able to view the query text and you can view the details of the query in terms of how many times it is triggered, at what time it is triggered, how much consumption is took, etc. This is very, very useful because you can identify those queries that are taking more DTU consumption and start fine tuning it. So I hope you find this query performance insight really useful. And one final thing I would like to show you is activity log. Don't underestimate the importance of activity log. It is really important because it provides information about activities that has been carried out on this particular database at a Azure portal level or Azure PowerShell level. So if you carry out some activities within the database, that doesn't come here. But if you are doing any administrative or configuration stuff here within Azure Portal or PowerShell or Azure REST APIs, those activities will be coming here. Basically, it will be logged 
and will be displayed in the activity log. This is really important from monitoring perspective because you want to know who is changing what at what time. All this stuff is very, very critical from auditing perspective. Hence, you need to continuously monitor this activity log. Make sure the right people are accessing your databases from Azure Portal, PowerShell and other Azure tools. So that's it for this lab. In this lab, I have shown you how to use metrics and how to enable diagnostic logs and also have shown you how to use Query Performance Insight in order to view the top five or top six queries that are consuming more CPU or uh, more resources of the database. And finally, I have shown you Activity Log, which is basically contains log of all activities that has been performed on this particular database by using Azure Portal or Azure PowerShell or any Azure tools. Okay, I hope you find this lab useful.